Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Delicia, Ebony Corson Flick. As you can see by the thumbnail and the title, today we are doing this pastel sunset inspired kind of look. I had this planned a couple of weeks ago, I just never got around to filming it. I think maybe because I did the uh, sunset eye with the Colourpop Barbie palette, I don't know. But it came into my head and I just never got around to doing it. So I think, do you know what? I haven't got anything new to test today, so I will do a, a shop my stash, if you will, and use what I already have and create this look that's been on my mind for a couple of weeks. So yeah, if you would like to see how I created this look and whatnot, then please keep on watching. Right, so you've obviously seen the intro. You know what look we're going for. Um, I had this planned a couple of weeks ago, just never got around to doing it. Um, so yeah, I've got a load of my coloured bases, I have my pastels palette, I have a few clean brushes, I need to get more peaches and cream brushes because I like the perfect size. I have freshly clean hair which I'm going to pin up because it is so damn hot in here and these lights aren't going to be helping them out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my little thingy in the bob, what's it called? Acrylic palette and I'm literally going to put like a dot of each of these on here. I don't need like obviously a massive massive amount. So I have a little dot of each. The blue is obviously going to be used last um, because that's going to go on my lid. I might... If I have like a bluey-ish pigment or something I could maybe put over the top to give it a bit of shim shim otherwise this may be a fully matte look but uh yeah that's what we are going with so I've got my four peaches brushes and a couple of my P. Louise ones out so I'm going to take my PC39 and I'm taking the purple base I'm just gonna kind of put this through my crease I'm gonna lay down the coloured bases first and then go in and set with the pastels palette. So I'm gonna do the purple, the pink, the orange. Oh, I don't have a yellow, do I? No, I don't. Hold on, what well, I am gonna do. I'm just gonna, before I do anything else, I'm gonna just kinda carve out under my brow a bit. Probably should have done my brows, but for this I will probably do one eye on, one eye off. So, taking the purple and then that I say is gonna go PC38 and take the pink then take my other PC38 and take in the orange take a bit more of that pink and just help blend I just realized I haven't zoomed you in I'm so sorry so yeah I'm just gonna go back with that and just kind of go between the pink and the peachy shade So that's how that's looking at the moment. Um, I'm going to take my pastels palette now 
um, brushes, brushes would be good. So, taking the purple, which is Daydream. And stamping that over the purple base. Then I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to take Lovesick, which is that one. Then I'm taking this, I'm taking Golden Hour, which is the orangey shade. take this brush and I'm going to take first light which is the yellow I really need to get the yummy yellow base probably one useful color that I haven't got okay that's how that's looking at the moment when I go through and I'm gonna like just go over those colors. I'm actually gonna mix Daydream and Euphoria, which is like that pinky purple. I'm gonna mix it, I think it might be a better. Okay, so that's how that's looking. I wish the pink was a bit more prominent. It's kind of blending into the purple a bit, but it's not the worst I've ever done. Okay. Then I'm gonna take I'm just going to take my, my another P. Louise brush. I'm going to take the blue and I'm going to put that on my lid. Such a pretty colour. Then I'm going to take another brush, I really need to, do you know what, I need a few packing brushes and let's take this one um, and I need more of these little blending brushes from the peaches thing. And I'm going to take cloud free which is the blue and set that. Okay, so that's So that is how that is looking. I'm going to take whatever's left on that and just go around the edge of the blue. Yeah. Okay, now that the blue's on, that looks so much better. So I'm now going to do the other eye which I'll probably just do silently. If I make any like really shocked faces, I apologize. I'm watching 911 Lone Star. It's the season finale and yeah, if you, if you watch it, then you know. If you don't watch it, seasons one to three of 911 are on Disney. I think season one of Lone Star is on Disney. The rest watching is on a streaming app, which is what I've been doing. It's so good. If you like like Chicago Fire and stuff like that and Med and it's, it's like all of them in one, it's really good. So yeah, I'm gonna do the other eye, I'm just gonna do it without talking.
Okay. So that is how the eyes are currently looking. I am gonna run off um, and do my base and stuff because I actually have a box, you can probably see there in the background, of TikTok maybe buy it stuff um, that I got sent to try. Uh, very excited because it is products that I haven't used. So I'm gonna go and do that and do my base and stuff. Um, and then I will be back to do under eyes and final thoughts. Right, I am back and we are almost done. Uh, you see, I've done my base and I tried some new bits. I tried the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I quite like this. I like the consistency of that. And the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear 24 Hour Foundation. Obviously, I have powdered down and stuff because one, it's hot and two, I am a sweaty, oily mess. But I haven't like done my settings for anything yet, but it feels so nice. And it looks really good as well. I was just like, is it gonna dry down? Is it gonna go matte? And then I was like, oh wait, it's the fresh wear one. So yeah, but um, we are back for under eyes. And can I just say, everybody's got high mascara. It's taken me forever to get this. And the only reason I did is because I was sent it with the rest of that stuff. My lashes look good. I'm gonna obviously put my um, corner ones on. I tried to get more of them the other day, but my product didn't have any of those specific ones, which is really irritating. But oh well, I need, let's use that brush. I'm gonna take this little BH brush I got in, this is a set from Boots. Yeah, this was in the set I got in Boots. I think it's like the Essentials eye set or something. <laughs> and I'm gonna take the green, which is the only little dot that hasn't been used. And I'm gonna run that on my lower lash line and then I will go and set with the green in the pastels. I also don't wanna bring this too low down. That's kind of even, not massively, but. Take the pastels palette and take that little brush. And then I'm gonna take uh, Days, which is that green. I was gonna take the other one, but it's a bit too like apple green. And I think it goes with this. So I'm gonna take Days. What I'll do is I'll set it on top and then I'll kind of like buff it a little bit underneath. Just realise you may not have seen that and I apologise. Love it. Okay, do some lower lash mascara. Do you know what I'll do this off camera? Yeah, lower lash mascara, lashes, lips. I've got um, the NYX Butter Gloss. This is actually, I have two of these now, so the other one, which is unopened, I'm gonna put in with the giveaway stuff for my next giveaway, which will be, I just said I was gonna do that off camera, uh, which will be at a thousand subs, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna run off. I'll see you in a second for the finished look. Right, guys, I am back. This is the final look. I have thrown my hair into a half up, half down. Let me just, you know. So yeah, this is how it looks. I've gotta say, actually, I love how my eyes have turned out now that they're all finished. It looks really nice. Um, but my skin, I'm a bit shocked, actually, by the, um, the new products that I used today. I didn't, 
know what to expect. I know a lot of people love that foundation, um, but when I put it on my little acrylic thing, it was like really runny, and I was like, "Oh, how is this gonna? How is this gonna go?" But actually, I love it. I think it looks really nice. Um, yeah. I, I, really, I haven't really tested anything, you know, bar the face stuff, which isn't really included in this video. I will put a thing up on TikTok or something for that. But um, overall, love how this is all turned out. Love how my eyes look. Just love it all, really. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else, because I'm not testing anything, am I? So it's like, yeah, um, everything I use, I loved, even the new stuff. Surprise, you know, one thing did surprise me, this little primer. Again, nothing to do with this video, but I'm, I'm gonna keep using this little mini and see how I get on with it, but I might have a new primer that I like. But um, yeah, hope you like this pastel sunset-y vibe. Um, I did put a thing off my Instagram stories asking for any uh, like video I did, any looks you want to see, any colour stories and this was actually one of the requests and I already had this plan for today anyway so it's kind of like okay well there you go it's a like a variation of a sunset it's just a pastel one but um yeah if there are anything any what if there is anything in particular there we go that you guys want to see leave it in the comments or um I'll keep putting it up on my Instagram and you guys can just send in um any look requests or whatever but um yeah this is how it all looks in the end i really like it really really impressed hope you do too uh if you did then please don't forget to like subscribe smash the notification bell leave me a comment down below all of that good stuff it is very much appreciated um socials up here as always also link down below along with patreon and amazon and uh, anything else um i will link what i can most of it actually i can link today which is a nice change um and yeah that is me done i am gonna love you and leave you and i'll see you all in the next one bye mm -hmm.